What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds where it's like 32 degrees right now and we are expecting four to eight inches of snow and uh, we're gonna be working outside today because I can't bring myself to pull my Corvette out of the garage so that I can work on a $300 Copart Pontiac Grand Prix wide track. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you understand, but at the same time, my hands are frozen. Um, so we're gonna be working outside today. It is wet, you can probably see right here. It's a little on the, uh, yeah wet and cold side so good old corvette stay nice and warm in, in there while i freeze so we've been working on the pontiac grand prix and i did what you're not supposed to do and that is throw money at the car throw parts at the car without doing any real diagnosing it's a fairly common thing for the gas pedal in that car to die and cause these codes it's also a fairly common thing for the throttle body to go kaput and cause these problems with the car. Well, we've replaced the throttle body with a used $50 piece right here. Um, and we took it off and put the old one back on because that did not fix it. Then I realized the problem was actually the gas pedal. Thanks to a lot of you commenting and saying it's the gas pedal. Um, I just went ahead and purchased a $50 gas pedal, which has like a sort of like a throttle position sensor type thing in it. It's built in. That didn't fix the problem. So now we're back and I decided, you know, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of wiring, but I love a good challenge and wiring is always a challenge for just about anybody. So I did what any good mechanic, YouTube certified <laughs> mechanic does. I downloaded and printed out a schematic. Here we have the throttle body assembly, okay? So each one of these pins, each one of these wires, these are pins that go from one place to another. This right here is the throttle pedal assembly. You'll notice these are your different switches and positions. Here are all your line ins and outs. So I decided we got to start checking some things out. And I started noticing we have no continuity. First thing I did is start checking for continuity. We got no continuity between several of these wires at the throttle body up here uh, from the gas pedal. So we've got a serious problem with some wiring here. That's fine. We have a connector called X101 right here that is notorious for getting water inside of these. Uh, I've taken these off, I'll put these back on later and put some dielectric grease in there. But this is the first check, is this connector for corrosion and moisture, nothing. That's why this connector is here. I've already checked it, it's in perfect condition. So we have an issue and we do have continuity between the, the gas pedal and this connector. So somewhere between here and here, we have a problem. Lo and behold, I start checking because this harness comes over here. Sorry, this harness comes over here. All right, it runs underneath and it comes up through this big harness right here. Well, I had all of this still attached, so obviously I couldn't see the wires. When I pulled and lifted on it, here's what I found. I saw, you see all the oil that's been rubbed off the valve cover. In fact, it's rubbed into the valve cover pretty dang good. And I said, uh-oh this harness has been rubbing since 2004 on this valve cover and it wasn't protected properly i don't know how many cars have this problem but when i got up under here and pulled back the insulation this is what i found you see that you see all these cut these aren't just bare these are cut metal wires guys some of them are completely disconnected 100 percent not touching anymore there's our problem this car was given up on because of a fairly simple and straightforward wiring issue that required no more than probably about 40 minutes of me poking around on the internet, printing out a picture, and then coming out here with an ohm meter and checking wiring. Uh, that's it, about 40 minutes. I didn't need to have parts thrown at it. The gas pedal was not necessary. Throttle body was not necessary. So now what I'm going to do, because it's so cold um, off camera, I'm not going to sit here and try to record all this, but I am going to put all of the broken wires back together. I'm going to put heat shrink on them, pull out my heat gun, and then we're going to wrap all of this up when we're finished with uh, electrical tape to help keep moisture out. And then we're going to cross our fingers and we're back. And for the first time ever, look at this. Here's the Maxisys Elite and we have no faults in the car at all none no faults are you kidding me are you kidding me this car that started out when we got it just a few days ago with like 10 faults i found five completely severed wires guys five of them five this many 
completely severed wires down there. So I didn't want to wrap the loom up and everything until I knew for sure everything was good. According to that scanner over there, we're good to go. I got the hood struts on, as you can see, so the hood holds itself up now. How about that? Okay, we got a brand new battery. The wire loom appears to be fixed. Uh, the only thing left to do now is fire it up. And hopefully we're out of limp mode now. Or reduced power mode. Low fuel. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, let's try that again. Here we go, come on. Door jar, low fuel. That's it? Holy sh... <laughs> low fuel, okay. Door jar. That's it, really. That's it. We don't even have the, uh, we don't even have the, uh, the EVAP sensor that was causing us a problem. So, before... Oh, it's cold. We could not rev this thing up past uh, 3,500 RPM is where it capped off at. As you can see, it is out of gas. I've got five gallons over there. Let's uh, let's give it some gas and see if we can get over 3,500. Oh, wow. It wasn't that responsive before. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All that's left for me to do is I'm gonna bundle up this wire harness right here with electrical tape which I have some of that somewhere. Right here, I used heat shrink, obviously. Like I said, I'm gonna bundle this up with electrical tape, and then I'm gonna find something to put underneath this wire loom, uh, something laying around, whether it's cardboard, rubber. I'm going to put something under this harness so that it isolates the wires from rubbing up against that valve cover. So if you have any GM that's a drive-by wire system, like this with the 3800 series 3 this video could be very helpful to you before you go tracing down uh, or before sorry yeah what you should have done is the tracing before you go throwing money away at a at a new pedal assembly or another throttle body um check your x 101 connector right here take it apart pull the uh insulators out check the inside check this whole thing for corrosion clean it put it back together and then, and then lift up. You won't see it because it's all insulated with this wire loom, this beautiful loom. All right, you're gonna have this. Uh, sorry, maybe it wasn't loom. I think it was just this, uh, this, this stuff right here. This material. It's gonna look like everything is fine. But when you pull this up, when you get under there and you see underneath it, I'll bet you money, you're gonna see a bunch of wires have been severed or are uh, touching one another take care of that guys i hope this video helped we're not done don't worry we're not done we got to take it for an, an actual test drive i got to put so i got five gallons of fuel over there i'm going to put some gas in it i'm going to take it on a test drive and see how it does go to the gas station and fill it up and with that boys and girls what do you think i know the engine needs cleaned we'll take care of that as well i want to show you what i did all right so obviously i wrapped it up in electrical tape as i said i was going to but look at this this i know this is a lot of you are going to be like, that's ghetto, Randy. This is an old coil pack boot off of one of my old dead coils. So what I did is I zip tied it over the electrical tape um, right there. All right, so as you can see now, instead of the wire harness rubbing up against this spot right here, it's going to be this thick heat protected insulator. All right. If it was good enough for a spark plug that sits down in the cylinder heads, it'll be fine to rub up and down on the engine like this. And that will protect this wire harness from ever suffering that fate again. All right. So first drive. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. She cruises, man. I mean, cruises. Thank you all for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I would truly appreciate it. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Leave your comments below. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I will catch you all very soon in the next one.